Good and serve. Nice. Um, and we also have a special guest, Melissa Diana from New Jersey. Yeah. She is a she owns a surf shop called Lucky Dog Surf, mm -hmm. and uh, she also uh, runs a surf school out there in New Jersey. Wow. So she's pretty incredible. God, she can talk about fear of going into business, oh, and, and particularly in the surf industry yes. where a lot of surf shops are not run by women. Yeah, you know. So yep. I mean, it's a it's quite a you know, it's a it's a very masculine in industry, and mm -hmm. I imagine there's a lot she'll be able to speak to, which should be really interesting. She, you, sh you should definitely talk to her. Right? She's a potential for your yeah, show. <laughs> She's great. Definitely. So there, there's um, you know, it's really going to be interesting. I feel like fear affects all of us, and um, uh, you know, it comes. It's but at the same time, if you overcome your fear, especially in surfing, it's such a unique sport. There's such an instant gratification when you overcome that fear, whatever it is. Um, and I feel like having this conversation, if it can help anyone that comes along, um, you know, to listen. And Will and Jeff are also very oh. good <laughs> ambassadors Amazing. to speak on fear. I mean, Will particularly, because, yep. you know, he's obviously surfed some of the biggest waves ever. Absolutely. But also um, he deals with it in terms of business and risks mm -hmm. and other things of that nature as well and yep. how to manage that sort of fear. And he's articulate and will be able to really speak oh, to it perfectly. And Jeff Jeff had an accident. Um, Jeff Anthony had an accident also. So he's coming yeah. back from that. And, uh, and the same with Melissa too. So she's coming back from a surf in injury. Um, so yeah, all, all three are very interested, very accomplished people, um, and I'm really excited to see where the conversation goes. Nice. So, and uh, then you got some movie screenings after that, which yes. is great. So that will be we'll be screening the Stab movie, um, you know, with featuring Coco Ho. Nice. So I'm excited yes. to see that. And I just want to say a call out thanks to Fat Tire and Zen Water because they're going to be complimentary yeah. beer and water and uh, some fruit smash in there. Love. Me some fat time <laughs> and Zen water is That's delicious. It. That's so, it. Um, and then Thursday now, so we have the um, women's night out. What is this? Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be fun. It's back at the surf club, Rockaway mm -hmm. Beach Surf Club. A uh, women's night out where uh, we're gonna have a pop up market with some local artists, nice. and uh, and then at seven o'clock, swell season's gonna uh, come along. Oh, who, 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 <laughs> what? We're doing this? Oh, yeah, oh, so I gosh. forgot to tell you. Oh, no, I didn't know. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> For all our listeners, if you want to come see us live, we're going to be hosting a live conversation with Diane Cardwell. Uh, both Karen and I will be on hand. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I, I love Diane. She's so much fun to talk to. And many of you probably heard our most recent uh, episode, one of our more recent episodes with her. But... We're going to be tackling some other topics with her. She uh, just recently did a huge New York Times piece on uh, black surfers reclaiming their spot in the lineup, which is, should be really interesting. Uh, and we're going to just talk about a lot of different elements. And I'm sure there's going to be some stuff from fear, the panel discussion on fear, that will spill over into that. Too, Absolutely. Which I think is going to be really fun to talk to. And um Totally worth seeing. So, and it'll be at the surf club. So, six o'clock Thursday. Excellent. Worth coming. Um, then we go, we start with the first night of films on at, Friday, the big night of films. Yes. Yeah, and that's at the, the Rockaway Hotel. Oh, um, what for a those, venue. Oh, for those who haven't been there yet, it's gorgeous. We're going to be right up on the top on the roof. Wow. And the weather forecast is looking great. I'm not going to jinx it. And, and the waves <laughs> also are uh, looking That's pretty it. solid as well. That's so really after amazing. you surf, go. it's like the perfect day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you couldn't pick a better day, Friday or Saturday here, mm -hmm. with film screenings and waves. Yeah. And you guys are going to be there too. Yeah. We're, so Swell Season will be there on the, on the ground doing some live interviews with all yeah. sorts of fun people. Yeah. Um, gosh. I mean, and then... So Saturday is action packed here. Yes, uh, so there's let, a lot. <laughs> let's 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 dive into this so so all of our our listeners can find out. Uh, it starts pretty early too. Correct? It does. So on Saturday, I always like to include surfing as a, a just a fun get together and yeah. um, almost kind of take over the waves, take over the break. Nice. Um, 
but uh, we've uh, we've got Billabong has come in as a partner this year. We're really excited. They're going to be hosting the event with us, and during that morning, it's everything's starting around nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a creative writing workshop with See Together Magazine. Oh, nice. And uh, that will be a paid workshop because 25% of the proceeds will support La Rubaya. Oh, which one is of our awesome. local community, you know, organizing groups, which mm-hmm. is awesome. So totally We'll go back to that, it. definitely. Um, and then we're doing a community surf session. Um, so everyone just gets together and it's really there to also celebrate La Rubaya nice. and what they, the work they're doing. Um and then Amanda's hosting a surf photography workshop. It was invite. We had a we ran a competition, and uh, so it's a small crew. These girls are awesome. They're really excited to host it and nice. uh, to be a part of it. I mean, um, and then uh, then it's the night. That night, yeah. and more screenings, and you have the girls can't surf that night. That's right. So we're going to start off with this is at the Rockaway Beach Surf Club. Mm-hmm. We've this will be our eighth year hosting the festival there. Nice. And I just love that place. Um, and yeah, it's everything kicks off at seven. We're going to show, you know, about 15, 20 minutes of short films. And then we're uh, going to take a break and host a raffle to um, benefit Lara Bayer. Nice. And we've got a macked out custom fat tire beach cruiser worth $2,100. What? <laughs> You want to lock that one up. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and Billabong has kindly donated a $750 five foot six surfboard. Nice. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. I want it. Um, <laughs> You're like, um, some of my tickets for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Patagonia is donating a beautiful bag of clothes and September um, swimwear and the lure, which is another yeah. one of our great um, partners. Um, so we'll do a raffle. Yeah. We've got other gifts also coming through. And then we are going to screen uh, Girls Can't Surf. Nice. And then on Sunday, we I'm have... I'm really excited. That's oh, going to be great. This is like the perfect come down to the festival, <laughs> it seems like, right? Exactly. <laughs> We're back, back to the hotel, the yeah. Rockaway Hotel. Um, things, Everything kicks off at 11 a.m. Um, we're doing a complimentary yoga session with Dai Salvador, a local yogi. Uh, she's a wonderful, very talented woman. Um, and then we're going to follow that with a guest, Lex Weinstein. Mm-hmm. She is, for those who don't know, she's a surfer, storyteller, artist, and activist. Um, and she's going to be talking about a surf stewardship. Like mm. how, how as a surfer, how can you help and give back to the community, the environment? You know, we, we surf in, in this beautiful ocean. How can we ensure that it's there for our children? And how can we ensure that, you know, we look after the the coral. I mean, everything is affected by that. So, but also the community. How can we give back to what people are doing? And um, she's going to talk a little bit about that, and then host a panel discussion with La Rubaya, uh, Swim Strong Foundation, and Surf Rider, um, talking about their work. So let's let's talk about this wonderful collaboration with La Rubaya. How mm-hmm. did this come about? And and what do you think it? What do you think is the significance of, of this group? I I think it's amazing. I, t- you know, I, during COVID, I switched off. I couldn't handle being too much on social. Some people were in it and I was off it. Yeah. <laughs> so I came back to Rockaway and I was, and so when I first heard about the work that they were doing um, and I was just, I was amazed. I think that they're doing such a wonderful job of bringing awareness and helping supporting the youth to get out there, learn how to swim, most importantly, mm-hmm. and surf, um, and just being like an advocate for people that, you know, the kids that, who want to try. I mean... Talk about stewardship. I mean, it's like, it's yes. it's really, they have lots of beach cleanups. They do they Adult do a lot surfing. of things for the, for the community. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's like... It is one of the best ways to te- introduce people into surfing, to, to make it go hand in hand, to mm-hmm. be like, well, if you're going to surf, this goes with it, mm-hmm. you know, and, and then it doesn't become such a selfish pursuit, which right. it can be. Mm-hmm. For many of us, it has been growing up doing it, you know, I right. think uh, many of us have learned to be selfish doing it, you know, and so this is a wonderful counterbalance to what has has predominantly been the vibe i think with a lot of surfers absolutely um so they yeah, they've been working on a um on a bill to to uh 
I'll let them talk more yeah. to it, but they're they're really trying to raise more awareness for the youth in Rockaway specifically, just to get um, lessons and and learn how to su- uh, swim. And yeah. there's just too many, you know, accidents every summer, and it's always, the rip's crazy, and it, it's always like really, it's really sad because a lot of people have not a lot of experience in the in the water and. You know, the beaches are so packed here in the summer. Mm-hmm. It's such a difficult job for the lifeguards to manage it a lot of the times. Yep. And and a lot of times the accidents happen after the lifeguards are off duty. Yeah. And the more people we have, you know, who, are, who learn how to swim, learn how to be comfortable in the ocean, the less we'll have that. But also we'll have more people who, are, who can help other people, mm-hmm. you know. I always find it's interesting, like a lot of surfers are there helping to save people. Uh, after lifeguards are off duty, and if we can spread that a bit more, I think that's a that's a win win. Yeah, it's uh, I'm I'm really impressed with what they're doing, and they're getting they're getting support. They're really busy. They're really working hard. Yeah. Um, and so, if you guys want to hear find out more, go to their website. Um, the, it's uh, the Make Water Safety Education an Essential Right for All, the Rockaway Water Safety Coalition. Um, you can go to the website, find out everything you can. Um, it's, it's definitely worth it. And so that's what we're going to talk about on Sunday. I really want more people to know about it. I want to know more. Um, and it's going to be a lovely way to finish up. And that's presented by awesome June shine and Vori clothing, which is, I have some now and it's, it's comfy. It's really comfy. It's really comfy. Um, but I just have to wrap up really quickly. Yeah. Everything is free for the festival, all our events. Wow. Uh, we just ask that you go online to register so we can keep you posted on any information and changes with the events. And um, uh, gosh, I just want to... Let's just... I mean, listeners, this whole event is free. <laughs> it's free. I mean, come on. Yeah. Why, you know, this is, to me, it's like this is the biggest surf happening in New York right now. And if you got, you know, it's, it's perfect. It's after Labor Day. Uh, there's going to be waves, the weather is going to be nice. Why wouldn't you just come out, hang out in Rockaway for the week? Mm-hmm. You know, get, go get an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Come out here next week, spend the whole week out here, because it's going to be so much fun. Yeah. What did, I got to ask, like, how has the, the, the festival evolved over time? What do you, like, what was it like eight years ago? And contrast it to now. Great question. So, I mean, when I started, uh, this was part of Lava Girl Surf Workshops, a social um, a social event. And it, it, I'd been to a couple of festivals, I was seeing screenings, and there was just not enough women shown on the big screen. And so I thought, well, why don't we just put together a night of women surfing films? And, um, and it really took off. And I'll tell you what, I, there wasn't a lot out there. No. <laughs> Eight no. years ago, there was just a handful of films and um, and all of these women, even the women uh, and the filmmakers in this festival, so much goes into putting a film together, so much financial backing, um, so much work, so many people work on it to make this beautiful story and I just sometimes feel like people don't take that into account. So even though it might be a five-minute, mm-hmm. eight-minute, one-hour film, I mean, it's a team of people making this and I just so appreciate everyone and what they do. It's so important, you know, to share these stories and highlight people that are surfing and highlight what good work people are doing. Um, so it's, we, we need more content. It needs to continue. And uh, there's something very special about what everyone's doing out there and really appreciate it. What do you, what do you get out of this? Like what it, what was, what's your motivation for doing this? The connections, the connections for sure. Um, it happens every year and it happens more and more. So, you know, whether whether you're a filmmaker, whether you're a, an artist or you want to be an artist or you want to surf or you do surf, you know, it's uh, just coming along and being involved, um, raising your hand to say, I'd like to get involved or help um, or just being there. Everyone who comes, guests and, and you know, um, people who attend, there's a connection. People are just open. There's an open door and suddenly collaborations occur. And then the next year there's a film coming from two people or 
Um, I see photographers working with a sponsor, you know, and I see this and people come up to me and go, oh my God, I surf now with this girl, all these people I met through the festival. Um, I've had people over the years come from Ireland and all over. They're like, we don't have anything like this. You know, we still get yelled out of the water by men and to see this.